Hi, I'm Scott Harrison with Multico Products. As you can see, I'm working from my home office today, but I'm excited to get a little bit of information out there on one of our new products, our Multicoat Aliphatic UV. It's a light cured product, low VOC, minimum downtime, resistant to most chemicals. It's in a gloss or a matte finish, lots of advantages. We've got national notoriety on this product all across the country. Please take a look at our video. Let us know what you think. If you've got any questions, please reach out to me or our company. Double button 50s. That's what we typically use. All right. And we hook it to a Hepavac, which gathers probably, I'd say, 95% of all of the dust. Notice on this second coat, too, that the vapor shield takes a lot longer to dry out than on the first coat. Why? Because the concrete is no longer as porous as it was before. So this, this vapor shield is going to react with any of the uh, remaining pores and form a hydrogel. But uh, from where it's not as porous now, it's already been densified with one coat. It's not going to penetrate as much. The, the bottom of the grinder here, we're going to take the 50s off and go ahead and put the 100 grit pads on. Okay, so these aren't buttons. These are just... What are these? These are kind of resin pads. So we've hit it with the 50s. We vapor shielded it. And... But when you touch the surface, you don't want to be filling piles of dust. You know, that's... But as I can see, there's a little bit on your hand. There's that, a little bit right there. Is that okay? This would be okay. What are you installing the product with? What are you using? I, I am using a 3 8 snap roller. Is that a special roller? That is a, a high quality uh, shed free. So we want to keep the the uh, the lint particles that release as, at a minimum. Okay. And so uh, we strongly recommend a high quality roller. Product basically has no odor, looks clear. Now, if you did not put a UV light on this, George, how long would it take this material to tack up? Uh, it will not tack up unless it's uh, unless there's direct sunlight, which would cause a light film to develop on the surface. But it still wouldn't cure? No, it would not. Why do we back roll this product? Again, just to make sure that we have a uniform coat. A uh, uniform coat is critical in the UV so that we have no puddles or heavy spots or light spots. The VOC emissions from this product? Near zero. Near zero. So we're about eight minutes into this, eight or nine minutes, and uh, it's fully rolled out by George, and we're gonna back roll, correct? That's right. So you're gonna put on these, what are these? Show us the bottom of these. These are just uh, slip-on spike shoes. So you, they have strap-on ones, but these are just slip-on, so if you're work boots, you just kick them right on, and that way you can walk out on top of the material and work your way back off of it. This doesn't dry without the light, so it does not. it's just as wet now as when you applied it 10 minutes ago. That's right. And then you're just back rolling it to give it... To make sure everything's settled out, it's a nice and, nice and smooth finish. Okay. okay. Now, George, how do we know that this light is putting out the correct output to cure this coating as per specifications? Uh, there's equipment out there in the market, uh, they're called radiometers, and radiometers, uh, once the uh, lamp is passed over the radiometer at full power, it will give you an indication of its uh, power range under the UVA, UVB, and UVC uh, waves. We've got this product applied, took us about 10 or 15 minutes, and we've let it set out another, I don't know, four or five, and is this acceptable to you to dry yes it is and you got to keep in mind that this is as wet now as the time you applied it and will be this will be wet tomorrow if we do not put this light on it. that is correct but as soon as we put this light on there you can walk on it and you're walking in normal shoes because behind the light you're fully cure already that is correct So at this pace, we will fully cure 150 square foot in less than 10 minutes. Okay. Like, almost like glass, but it's not slick. 
No, it has a very high uh, coefficient of friction, which is above the industry standard for uh, non-slip floor. Wow, beautiful finish. You can go up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit faster, Brad, if you choose. Now this look, this floor looks slick, but it's it's really not. No, it uh, as as I stated earlier, it has very high coefficient of friction. Yeah, no cleaner needed. Are you using much pressure to take the dust off, or just? Not much at all. 